Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one. So today we're going to look at Michael Irvin. Michael Irvin, he was supposed to be covering the Super Bowl this week weekend, but he's not because of an accusation that came his way. So we have an article here, guys, but before we look at, at this, please remember to like, subscribe, drop a comment. It really helps to keep this channel going. So guys, we have Michael Irvin here, and for those who don't know who he is, he was a wide receiver for the Cowboys back in the Aikman Emmett Smith days, and he was a beast, right? Dude was a he played for the Hurricanes in college. He was a beast, and uh, yeah, now he does analyst work and he's a media person, and yeah, he's just living his best life. And this article says NFL Net Network and ESPN pull Michael Irvin from Super Bowl week shows after woman's a complaint. The former Cowboys wide receiver said he engaged in no physical contact with the woman beyond a handshake during a brief exchange in the lobby. Now, guys, you know how I feel about this type of stuff. Guys, we all know this current environment. You cannot put yourself at risk at all. The fact that he even admitted that it was a handshake. He shouldn't have even touched that, that woman. He shouldn't even talk to her. He should have just went straight back to his room. You know what I'm saying? Because all it takes is an accusation to get your livelihood uh, messed up. So, uh, so former Dallas Cowboys receiver Michael Irvin will not make his scheduled NFL network or ESPN appearances for the remainder of Super Bowl week after... A woman complained about his conduct during an encounter Sunday evening in Arizona. Irvin described the interaction as a brief, public, and largely non-physical encounter. He said he engaged in no physical contact with the woman beyond a handshake when they parted ways. Uh, let me see. Irvin works for NFL Media, but also makes guest appearances on ESPN. Neither organization commented on the exact nature of the woman's accusations. You can guarantee that this because they're still gathering evidence. But that didn't stop them from babe from taking him off the Super Bowl coverage. Um, the interaction in question, uh, Ir Irvin told the news. And a phone interview had occurred on Sunday in Phoenix near the site of this Sunday's Super Bowl, following drinks and dinner with, with former Cowboys safety Michael Brooks. Uh, he returned to the hotel at which he was staying and struck up a conversation there with a woman. So he walked up to some rando and started talking to her, right? Bad idea. He says, honestly, I'm a bit baffled. This all happened... In a 45 second conversation in the lobby. When I got back after going out, I came into the lobby and I talked to somebody. I talked to this girl. I don't know her. I talked to her for about 45 sec seconds. We shook hands, then I left. That's all I know. He says he hadn't seen the woman before or since their talk, which he estimated lasted up to a minute. He said he's unable to recall the full nature of the conversation, but insisted the only physical contact between the two was the handshake. I don't really recall the conversation, to tell you the truth. We were out drinking. It was just a friendly con conversation. What's up? I don't even know. I'm totally perplexed. Irvin indicated there is a video of the encounter, but he's not personally viewed the footage. He said he doesn't know the woman's name. So he was on the Monday coverage, but now he's not, right? A Phoenix police spokesperson and officials from the police said Tuesday they have no knowledge of any incident involving Ir Irvin. He said there's obviously no wrongdoing. What law did I break? There's nothing physical. That's honestly all that ha happened. Nobody was in my room. It was a 45-second conversation in the lo lobby. A handshake, and we left. I don't know. I don't know what this is. It's running me crazy. So, guys, see? He talked to this woman once, you know? And oh, look, all we know is, is that he talked to her, and he left. And it was in the lobby. It was in public. There was tons of people around. And he gets... uh. Uh, uh, penalized by, a, by his job. But guys, it gets better. This came out today. 
he's suing his accuser and Marriott for $100 million for allegedly false accusation of misconduct. Michael Irvin won't be on TV this week, but he's still making headlines. The Hall of Fame receiver that was removed from NFL and ESPN after an alleged misconduct sued the accuser and Marriott over the matter. He claims that the accuser and the the hotel hoped to make him the next victim of cancel culture. The rash and thoughtless actions can have severe consequences, the lawsuit contends. Uh, Marriott, parent company of Renaissance Hotels, apparently did not appreciate these simple truths when in a rush to judgment, its employees and management inaccurately and inflammatorily accused Mr. Irvin of misconduct to the NFL. Per the lawsuits, eyewitnesses support Irvin's contention that he casually exchanged pleasantries with the accuser. A hotel employee shook her hand and went to his room alone. It's clear that Michael is the latest victim of our cancel culture where all it takes is an accusation to ruin a person's life, said Irvin's lawyer. Michael looks forward to clearing his name in court and hopes the court of public opinion will see the truth come out as well. So surveillance video could help clear things up if the video is clear enough. Uh, yeah, guys, so, you know, I they said that there's a video that surfaced, and I think that we... We can find that right here. Let's see if this will play. Some sound here. Get it off. And there he is. He's been drinking. <laughs> A little bit. This is in the lot. Yeah, in the lo- lobby bit. Hey, we come out the truth. So, yeah, I mean, he looks. I don't know. I don't know how, like, if this video shows what it's supposed to, supposed to show, but someone just filmed him kind of being drunk. But that's no re- reason to take the guy off the, off, uh, to affect his job. That's crazy. All right, you guys, let me know what you think. I mean, this sounds like BS to me. My spidey sense is tingling. This is ridiculous. I mean, he went to his room alone. Witnesses said so, and yet he still. Uh, being pulled off the net, net, networks. It's absolute clown world, guys. All right, you guys. It's AJ. I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys have a good good time while watching the game. Uh, I hope the Eagles win because I like Jalen Hurts, you know? And yeah, guys, I am out of here.